Hi, I'm Jim Covington. Today is April 24th, 2014. I'd like to welcome you to this week's issue of ISBA State House Review. The General Assembly will return to uh, Springfield next Tuesday after a two-week spring break. And uh, I'd like to talk to you about the five bills, uh, five bills that are still pending. Uh, at this point, we're beginning the second half of session where bills that started one chamber, if still alive, will be reviewed by the second chamber. First bill I'd like to talk to you about is Senate Bill 2597 by Senator uh, Jennifer Bertino Tyrant and uh, Representative Larry Walsh. It amends the Residential Real Property Disclosure Act to add material defects in the window or doors to the list of disclosure that are required under the Act. That has passed the Senate and is now in the House. The second bill I'd like to talk to you about is uh, Senate Bill 3057, introduced by Senator Bill Hain from Alton and Representative Renee Kozel from Okina that amends the Common Interest Community Association Act. And under current law, there is the requirement that requires a unit owner leasing a unit to deliver a copy of the lease to the association. This will no longer make it a statutory requirement, but still it is, will be required if the community instruments provide that it must be re, uh, required, must be done. That's passed the Senate and now in the House. Third bill I talked about is Senate Bill 2982, introduced by Senator John Mulrow of Chicago and Representative Kelly Cassidy from Chicago that amends the Condominium Property Act. And it makes certain declarations unenforceable against public policy if the declarations affect the common elements or more than one unit and require any of the following before the board can take legal action on behalf of the association. One, consent of a percentage of unit owners, two, arbitration, three, mediation before an action may be filed in court, or four, a restriction or delay in the board's ability to bring an action affecting the common elements or more than one unit. Uh, an other, un otherwise unenforceable provision may be enforced if it is approved by unit owner percentage vote of not less than 75% after the election of the first unit owner board of managers. Senate Bill 2982 has passed the Senate and is now in the House. <clears throat> Pardon me. The uh, fourth bill I'd like to talk about is Senate Bill 3547, introduced by Senator Chapin Rose from Muhammad and Representative John Anthony from Yorkville, that makes it a class four felony to drive on a suspended license during a period of summary suspension that was imposed because a driver failed or refused to submit to a chemical testing, regardless of whether the driver is eligible for a monitoring an MDDP device. That has passed. The Senate is now in the House. The last bill I'd like to talk to you about is uh, uh, amends the Transfer on Death Instrument, TODI, and that is a cleanup of that act. It's Senate Bill 2656, introduced by Senator Jason Barrickman, uh, Bloomington Normal, and Representative L.G. Sims of Chicago, and it makes a number of revisions to this act, which is about two years old, that uh, we found that there were wrinkles when the act was implemented. And the first one is uh, it includes a new section that makes the recording of a notice of death affidavit a permissive action that can be taken by the beneficiary but is no longer mandatory. Uh, the title insurance companies had a number of concerns with the current act as implement, implemented. And this, some of these things, including that one, are designed to uh, address those concerns. Uh, the proposal eliminates the right of an agent acting under a durable power of attorney from creating or revoking a transfer on death instrument. Uh, it clarifies that only substantial compliance with the execution formalities is required. Uh, it excludes residential cooperatives and expands the definition of common elements association associated with condominiums to include, quote, any parking unit or other amenity used with and owned by the owner of the residential com condominium unit, close quote. It clarifies that the acceptance of the transfer on death instrument by the beneficiary during the owner's lifetime is not a requirement. And finally, it adds a bona fide purchaser provision to the statute of limitations to help clear title. Senate, that bill has passed the Senate and is now in the House. Thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next week.